Hi everyone, I am Shubham Garg and welcome to the lecture series of Cadence World Tussau. Okay, so in previous video what we did uh, is we did the NMOS schematic and simulation and we uh, plotted ID versus VDS curve for a particular value of VGS. Alright, so I will show you what we did uh, just, just a second. Yeah, so this was our schematic and we went to launch ADE Excel. Okay, just go to analysis and choose go to dc save dc operating point component parameter okay so we are going to select the component that is vdc click ok and from there what we have to do is here in parameter name we need to select dc okay my mistake yeah so here just write dc and go to start and stop that is 0 and 1.8 go to the sweep type as linear and for step size just write 0 0.01 or you can give a step of 0 0.1 that's up to you so just click OK and from output uh, go to to be plotted select on schematic now select this point that is the drain of this MOSFET again go to the ADE Excel ADEL and here you will see your output that is uh, to plot it is already ticked and just uh, go to netlist and run and it is going to run okay uh, there is an error the parameter dc okay vgs is used but not set all right yeah so it is yeah yeah the vgs value so just uh, click on v this uh, vdc click on q and uh, set it as 1.8 now click ok all right so here we don't no need to plot this and plot this just uh, plot this one that i just checked by mistake Alright, so now just go to netlist and run. Value for following is not set. Okay, let's see. We have set the value. L let us see. Okay, first of all, let's delete the outputs. And we are going to set the outputs again. So I am going to delete this, delete this, yeah. Outputs should be plotted, select on schematic and here we go. So now let's run. Alright, it is still saying the value is not set. Let's see. okay okay this value all right i got it anyways uh, here this is our characteristics id versus vgs characteristics vds characteristics for this nmos all right this we have already plotted now basically this it is say, it was saying this value was not set so from here uh, basically this is for the next step that we are going to do uh, initially you are not you were not going to get this option all right now uh, this we have plotted for only one value of vgs that is for 1.8 we have already specified now let's say we want to plot for different values of uh, vgs so what we are going to do first of all i am going to close this yeah for different values of vgs first of all we are going to select this go to q and press q for the properties and in dc voltage value we are going to select as, uh, we are going to give the value as vgs that is no particular value all right so now what we are going to do is we are going to go to variables copy from cell view and we are going to go to edit okay we are going to go to edit now from here copy from cell view this is the option select this vgs and give the value as 1.8 okay and click okay so now we have the value as 1.8 now what you need to do is you need to go to tools go to parametric analysis and in here uh, for the variables just click on add variable that is vgs okay and the value uh, we are going to give the value that is from 0 to 1.8 okay step mode we are going to give linear steps 
and total steps is going to be uh, step size is going to be let's say 0 0.3 so it is now going to plot from 0 to 0 0.3 0 0.6 0 0.9 and all these values of vgs all right and now here we need to give uh, the final value let's just try and run most probably it will show an error because here we need to give the final value but let's see yeah it is saying that if no value is provided nominal value will be used so let us hope it will take the value automatically otherwise we will see what to do next Okay, so now it is uh, showing this 1.8 value. So let us run and wait for some time. Well, it is taking longer than expected. Let us close this. Okay, again, let's go to tools. First of all, let's run this only. Okay, let's close this also. Let's do this once again. So launch AD Excel. ADL sorry and here just go to this analysis and choose so this is the DC analysis so we are going to select the component that is this press ok and parameter name we have DC so uh, the start time the stop time and sweep type linear step size is 0 0.01 press ok and for output go to to be plotted select on schematic select this drain here we have the output now talking about the variables click copy from cell view okay and for the value just give 1.8 value and press ok so now we have the values now go to tools and parametric analysis so here at the variable that is VGS, you will see this 1.8 value and from 0 to 1.8 step mode just selected as linear steps total steps is going to be the step size is going to be 0 0.3 and now run. Yeah, so now it is running fine. We'll see. So here is the graph that is from different values that is 0, 0 0.3. 0 0.6 and you can see 0 0.9 VGS is 1.2 and all these values we have the graph so this is how you plot this ID versus uh, VDS characteristics for different values of VGS okay so now next thing what we are going to do is we are going to plot ID versus VGS characteristics okay this is ID versus VDS so now we are going to uh, plot ID versus VGS characteristics all right so now we are going to clo close this okay so here uh, in the outputs now what we are going to do is uh, sorry here in this uh, we are going to select instead of this we are going to select the component that is this okay and we are going to choose an uh, here it is the component and everything else will going to remain same okay so now here this is this component that is V1. This component has been selected. So now let's run the simulation. And you can see here we have the ID versus uh, VGS characteristics. All right. So this is how we can plot ID versus VGS characteristics. Okay. So this is how you plot basically all the characteristics of NMOS. So this is all for this video. See you guys in the next video.